agreement with the Grand Duchy. SES's headquarters are located at the Chateau de Betzdorf, a former residence of the Grand Duke of Luxembourg. The company employs over 140 staff from more than 10 different nations. Next to the administrative building are located the Astra ground control facilities with the large parabolic antennas which are used to control and steer the satellites in space as well as to transmit video and audio signals to the satellites. A separate antenna is used for each of the Astra satellites. The Betzdorf site also comprises various communications antennas for the reception and transmission of TV and radio signals. Société Européenne des Satellites has several subsidiaries in Europe. In Germany, in Frankfurt, in the UK, in London, in Spain, in Madrid. The six co-located satellites in the Astra system, of which three are already in operation, feature a reliable technology as well as advanced satellite design. Every satellite is constructed individually and it takes highly qualified specialists about three years to build an Astra satellite weighing approximately three tons. The satellite is very sensitive and needs to be assembled in a completely dust-free environment. Each part undergoes rigorous testing to ensure that it functions perfectly on its own and as part of the system. Precision testing at ground level ensures that the satellite will perform perfectly in space. Astra satellites were launched into space from the European Space Center in Kourou, French Guiana. The launch facilities, located at 5 degrees latitude north, are optimal for launching satellites into equatorial orbit. The launch site of Kourou also offers sophisticated facilities to prepare and test the satellites prior to launch. spacecraft are also fueled on site. It's this fuel which allows the spacecraft to be propelled into geostationary orbit, as well as the subsequent station-keeping maneuvers. The satellite is then placed in the top capsule of the Ariane 4 launch vehicle, which puts the Astra satellites into orbit. On December the 11th, 1988, Ariane Space Flight 27 successfully injected the Astra 1A satellite into geostationary transfer orbit. A whole new era in satellite television had begun. March the 2nd, 1991, Astra 1B was launched on board Ariane Flight Number 42. Followed by Astra 1C on May the 11th, 1993, with Ariane Flight Number 56. The launch of a spacecraft on board an Ariane rocket can be summarized as follows. 20 minutes after takeoff, the Astra satellite is injected into geostationary transfer orbit near the equator. The closest point from the satellite to the Earth is about 200 kilometers, and the furthest, 36,000 kilometers.
helped by the firing of onboard thrusters, Astra is then propelled from transfer orbit into geostationary orbit. Thereafter, the satellite unfolds its 10 meter long solar panels, which will supply the energy for the electronic systems. In low Earth orbit at a height of 300 kilometers, a satellite will revolve every one and a half hours and spin faster than the Earth. The Moon, which is in a high Earth orbit, revolves only once every 28 days. So positioned between these two in geostationary orbit at a height of 36,000 kilometers, Astra spins at the same speed as the Earth and is therefore always seen in the same position above the equator. The optimal geostationary position for Astra is within a 140 km queue. In this position, the Astra satellites are slowly but constantly moved by the elements. However, onboard thrusters controlled from the ground can be fired to correct Astra's position at any time and keep it positioned at 19.2 degrees east. The rocket fuel on board is sufficient to last the approximate 12 years or more of a satellite's life. The Astra system currently consists of three co-located satellites. Three additional satellites are scheduled to be launched in 1994, 1995 and 96 respectively. With every new Astra satellite, a whole range of additional television and radio programs will be added to the system. The Astra footprint covers the greater part of Europe, from Scandinavia down to Italy, and from Spain, including the Canary Islands, across to Eastern Europe. Television and radio operators broadcasting via Astra transmit their programs to uplink stations at the locations shown here. The signals are then sent from these uplink stations directly to the Astra satellites. The uplink is carried out via antennas like the ones shown here in Betzdorf. The fixed antennas on the ground see the satellites as a single fixed point in the sky. So when the picture arrives on your screen, it has already traveled 72,000 kilometers at the speed of light. On June the 7th, 1988, Sky Television announced its decision to take four Astra transponders and became Astra's first client. Since then, the 50 transponders of the current system have all been leased by various European and international programmers. Today, the Astra satellite system already offers you a wide choice of television programming by country, by language and by special interest, be it general entertainment or thematic television, subscription services or programs transmitted in the clear. Additional audio subcarriers enable each channel to carry simultaneous language soundtracks for television or stereo radio channels. Astra offers alternative television and radio for everyone. This is the control center at Betzdorf, where communication with the Astra satellites is maintained around the clock. The control center ensures the perfect functioning of the Astra satellite system. The huge parabolic antennas are positioned to face directly towards Astra. They control and steer the satellites in space and also uplink programs. On request, Betzdorf can also provide transfer orbit services or in-orbit testing support to other satellite operators. The Astra satellites are monitored and steered from one of these control units, equipped with at least two or three backup units. All operations are coordinated by a team of multinational professionals. In addition to the monitoring of the satellites in orbit, 
the technical quality of the video and audio transmission